السلام علیکم میرا نام ہے شویتا السلام علیکم میرا نام ہے اندر اور آپ سب کا سوگت ہے ہمارے چینل میں سو ابھی ہم کرنے آنے آول فرسٹ عمرہ بلاؤ بہت ٹائم سے عمرہ بلاؤ ہاں چلا یہ دیکھتے ہیں Salam you guys, Hello. welcome back to my channel. We are in Mecca right now and we are so incredibly grateful for this opportunity to do Umrah together. We got here like two days ago actually yeah. and Omar actually already performed Umrah yeah. last night. <laughs> Aww, yeah. mashallah. I actually <laughs> needed a little bit more time to rest. Like my body was just yeah. not physically Honestly, ready. the jet lag has been worse than I thought it would be. We've been pretty tired, mm -hmm. just trying to regulate our schedule and figure out what we're gonna do. It's taken you a couple of days to yeah. kind of get the hang of things. And but. especially just being pregnant. I don't know like yeah. what it is, but I've been getting really lightheaded recently. So I'm yeah. like, I just need to like Think, eat yeah. and rest. Exactly, you need fluids. And <laughs> so anyway, you spent the past couple, kind of couple days recovering and yeah. from the travel. And but I feel much, much better yeah, today and better today. we are both going to be per performing Omra tonight yeah. and Omar is going to be performing it on behalf of his father. I wanted to give a little quick explanation of what Omra is in case anyone is unaware. Mm -hmm. I feel like even as Muslims, sometimes we maybe we need a reminder of like what Omra even is. Right. <laughs> it is basically a visit to the Holy Kaaba in Mecca. Mm -hmm. It is our most sacred mosque in our religion. You do a series of rituals based Basically, it's, it's really two main things, which is walking around the Kaaba mm -hmm. and then walking back and forth from these two hills called Safa and Marwa. It's to get closer to Allah, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, it, to help forgive you of, of your sins that mm -hmm. you've committed and then hopefully to bless your life. It's a very like cleansing, peaceful, yeah. spiritual experience. It's like a fresh slate basically. Yeah. Kind of starting over with a fresh slate. It helps yeah. you like reconnect with God and right. just helps you like put into perspective like what this life is all about. Being here in Mecca, like the feeling like I can't even describe such peace. Yeah. Honestly, just like walking around and like knowing that everyone is Muslim and yeah. like honest, like I haven't been obviously wearing any makeup. We've been wearing like abayas. I literally wore like my prayer clothes to breakfast this morning. Yeah. Like it's just and it's so normal. everyone is just focused on like our religion and God and like not mm -hmm. the things of this world. We're staying at the Fairmont Hotel and at the ground floor, it's like a big shopping center, like a huge mall. All the shops close at prayer time. There's <coughs> nobody there. They're right. all, everything's closed. All the shopkeepers, you know, stop for prayer. They close their shop and they go and pray and then they mm -hmm. come back, open their shop. We don't see that living in America, obviously. Yeah. So it's Everything kind of Everything here is centered around Islam and prayer and God. That being said, we, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of where we're staying, just in case anyone's curious. This yeah. is obviously not sponsored at all. I did not know where to stay, but I got a lot of you guys recommended the Fairmont. Yeah. And it's in the clock tower, which is like directly in front of the Kaaba. It's yeah. literally walking no, distance. No. Yeah, um, and it's Kaaba view. Room. Oh yeah, so I'll show you. It has been it's, so amazing. It's totally worth it in my opinion. Being able to see the Kaaba and like making prayers in our room, we can like actually see it. And you just pray in the direction of the Kaaba, which yeah. is so crazy because it's right there. It's right there. Wow. <coughs> 43rd floor. So our plans for today, we are going to be going to Masjid Al Aisha to begin our Ihram, which is the state of purity that you need to be in before you start your Umrah. We're gonna start there and then we'll try to get some clips of us while we're doing Umrah. Yeah. Obviously, we're gonna be trying to be as focused as possible so that we can be focused on what we're actually here for, but we did wanna try to just get a few clips that we can piece together later yeah. just to document the experience. Yeah, we'll, I guess we'll catch up with you guys once Probably we're, tomorrow after we finish. Yeah, once we finished, and we can t kind of talk about our experience and everything, and and yeah, we'll go from there. Sounds good.
I'm gonna have Luna trim my hair. So I actually trimmed it yesterday, as yeah. you guys saw. It took me 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but this is gonna yeah. be hopefully a lot shorter it because be a lot shorter, yeah. most of the bulk is gone. Yeah. Honestly, it was so sad seeing your hair go. <laughs> Even your okay. mom was like, "Why did you do that?" Yeah. <laughs> my mom was telling me just I should have just cut a couple hairs, but <laughs> I was like, I wanted to go ahead and just trim it. Yeah. But basically, I'm trimming it a little bit shorter today. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, we finished our Umrah yeah. experience after the trimming of the hair. Pretty much bald, huh? Pretty close. Pretty close. I don't know. My hair hasn't been this short. Never. Never been this short. Well, maybe, maybe since maybe high school. When you were in high school yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, it feels crazy. <laughs> we can just be extremely comfortable like this. Literally, <laughs> nobody cares. Nobody cares. Everybody else is doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing much better right now. <laughs> update and just share our experience last night doing Omrah. I just woke up from a long nap. We're about to check out of the hotel. That was seriously the most like surreal experience. Yeah. As soon as I saw the Kaaba, I wasn't expecting it because we had seen it from our window. Our window yeah. Um and like that in itself for me was really like surreal and like emotional experience. Yeah, but, it looked like a painting honestly. But as soon as we started like walking down to Masjid Al Haram, I literally just started like bursting into tears. Like yeah. it was like I couldn't even control it. It was yeah. so overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, that's I got the same feeling too the first time, the first time. I saw it and it was just like a, a I was just like overwhelmed with emotions. We didn't get much footage while we were doing tawaf or really at all. I mean, we yeah, were that's really my fault. No, we were really just trying to like we were praying the entire time. Right. I did get a couple of clips on my phone. I think so we could put that in the video, but just overall we were just really trying to be very present because yeah. it didn't really take us that long to do tawaf. Like Yeah. Tawaf probably took an hour yeah and it went by Maybe. so fast it like, just goes yeah it, go, it doesn't even feel like an hour that's it the didn't thing. feel just, like an hour for me yeah because you're just so focused trying to focus on what you're doing and you really get lost in the like mm -hmm. the environment and <laughs> something that we did before <clears throat> we came to mecca is we wrote down a list of prayers yeah. duas that we wanted to make sure we asked mm -hmm. during our umrah I think that helped so much because like I said, I was so overwhelmed with emotion. Like I wouldn't yeah. have remembered anything. It's definitely good to bring like a written guide yes. so that you can refer to when you need to figure out like what's your next step. And Yeah, since we didn't have a guide yeah. guiding us the entire time, we just did our research before we came and then mm -hmm. I wrote down all these notes on my phone. So we made sure we like didn't miss any steps. Writing down the prayers was really key like, yeah, just like, to make sure you don't forget to say something or pray for something yes first night i went um it wasn't quite as busy for tawaf yeah the second night which was last night when we went it was it was, it was very it, it actually got a little bit like scary for me because we wanted to go like closer to the kaaba and like see if we could touch it and yeah there's a lot of like pushing and shoving at that point and like yeah. I don't know. I just Everybody's started getting just like, like claustrophobic in the zone, trying to like pray, and they're not really paying attention. So you yeah. just kind of get, you do get tossed around a little bit. A little bit. It wasn't yeah, bad, but though. it wasn't that bad. Yeah, um, we were able to make it. Being pregnant, I thought it was going to be a lot harder, but it really wasn't that bad for me. Yeah, I'm a lot. Think at this stage in your pregnancy. Yeah, I think because I'm like in my second trimester and feeling more energetic. My feet were sore at the end, but so were Omar's. So yeah, yeah. It was just like that's normal and then my lower back hurt a little bit but yeah your feet start to hurt definitely it's just a lot of walking during safa and marwa mm -hmm. like after the third or fourth round mm -hmm. 
that's when your feet like you feel it you know? yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> um it took us a total of i think two and a half hours to complete the whole thing right. just because it was a little bit more crowded this last night mm -hmm. but omar whenever he did it it was a less crowded it took it him two hours took me two hours i was probably i was walking a little bit faster probably too when i was by myself i felt like i was waddling towards the end <laughs> <laughs> i'm not yeah. even that big yet <laughs> and i also did not see like barely any other pregnant women and maybe that's just because everyone's wearing really loose abayas and i couldn't tell yeah if anyone's I think, pregnant <laughs> i mean who knows but, <laughs> but there were there were a lot of people that had kids yes I didn't see a lot of them. Like more than I thought I would see. <laughs> it was so beautiful to see the children. Yeah. Like there were parents just like holding their kids on their shoulders while they were doing yeah. toe off and like holding their little babies. And I just wish Elena was here so bad. I know. But I know she would not have like been happy. Like especially just the traveling here. The traveling would be, that's what's, that's, that's what's so what hard. really prevented us in the end from but one day inshallah when our kids which is so weird to say inshallah yeah. are older then we want to bring them back yeah for hajj inshallah, we inshallah. All i pray that mm. every single one of you who want to go get, get to the go, chance to inshallah. Yeah. yeah so unfortunately this is where our saudi trip ends and we're not going to get to go to medina we're going to head back actually we have one day uh stop in in doha and we're heading back to our baby okay. <laughs> Right now, since we have to check out of the hotel, we're gonna go shopping a little bit and see if we can get some gifts for our families and then head to Qatar. Nice. बहुत अच्छा लगा जब उबर से फ्रेंड भी थी फिर वो यू नो 4 टू 5 राउंड्स के बाद तुम्हें एक्चुअली लाइक फील होता है पर अब आगे मतलब गाइस और थोड़े व्लॉग्स ढूंढना मैं ढूंढ रहा हूं मेरे को ऐसे प्रॉपर व्लॉग्स नहीं मिल रहे तो आप लोग को है कि मुझे भेजो भेजो जरा या कमेंट्स में डालो लिंक तो हम क्योंकि बहुत अच्छा लगता है जब हम ये सब देखते हैं और ठीक है तो गाइस वीडियो को लाइक सब्सक्राइब शेयर करें क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकॉन